gorgeous. How are you feeling about tonight? It's gonna be such an amazing event. I mean, it has been the talk of the town for a few weeks now. You have so many high-profile guests coming tonight. It is just going to be amazing. I mean, including yourself, of course. Oh yeah, the paparazzi is already quite bad. I mean, getting here was difficult. They're already swarming at your gate, but you hired security, right? Okay, good. Yeah, you should be fine then. Um, yeah, I can imagine it's only gonna get worse throughout the night, especially when, like, Taylor gets here because the paparazzi have been on her. It has just been ridiculous. I know, but I mean, you can thank her a little bit because they've taken it off of you. You know, you get a little bit of a breather from the paparazzi because they're so focused on her and her new NFL boyfriend, right? I bet it could be so annoying. They're just... Unfortunately, it's part of what happens with the fame, right? They come with it. Yeah, well, the place looks lovely. Your decorator did such an amazing job? Was it a whole team that you hired? They did amazing. Yeah, the whole place looks stunning, and I love how you did, like, the whole floor-to-ceiling Christmas tree. Definitely is giving me Kim K vibes. Are they coming, by the way? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll definitely prep for the drama and prep for the hundred Instagram pictures that you'll be having to take with them. <laughs> well, Without further ado, we'll just start on your makeup because I don't want to take too long. I'm sure you have a lot of prep still. Still debating between gowns. What time is your stylist getting here? Okay. Okay, well, don't worry. I've got the look nailed to a T, so we will be good for time. I'm just going to clip your hair out of the way. Did you get a blowout today? Yeah, your hair looks lovely. I also love the highlight. Okay, other side. I hear people coming in and out of the house. Do I have to be worried at all or just catering? Okay. I was like, do I need to call security? Because the last thing we need is prop paparazzi breaking and entering. <laughs> okay. Oh, I took Taekwondo like growing up, so I mean, I think I was like a purple belt. I've got this. <laughs> First, I'm going to start off with a nice tacky primer. This one is a spray. I prefer to use spray primers recently. Okay, so I'm just going to cover your eyes and prep the skin. Good. When's the last time you got a facial? Okay, I was going to say your skin is looking really plump and fresh. Okay, just recently. Can you, can you move your eyebrows? Okay, yeah, you still have movement. You're fine. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Okay, so you said you wanted really glowy, dewy. You wanted to be super um, shiny, iridescent. Okay, so I've got some great highlighters, and I also thought for your eye look, do you know what colors your gowns are that you're debating between? Okay, those are kind of opposite ends of the spectrum. Then I think we just keep it really neutral with a nice uh, brown in the crease and we do a nice champagne pop on the lid. You can never go wrong with that. You always look amazing. Of course, and I know you wanted to do a mid-party outfit change and glam change. Okay, yeah. So I'll just stay here in your makeup room and I can practice a few different looks, clean my brushes and station and everything. And then when you've decided on your gowns, you can let me know and I'll prep for the change and we can add some color and whatnot, whatever you'd like. Okay, sounds good. So I'm first just going to be starting off with the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I mean, this is probably the most fitting product to use today, right? Exactly. And it's super glowy. Your skin is looking amazing, so I don't want to use a cakey full coverage foundation. We don't need that whatsoever. Okay, so I'm just going to down your neck as well. That all over the 
my skin This shade is matching you perfectly Did you recently get a spray tan? Or Looks good Okay, so I'm just going to grab my beauty blender here Where is it? I think I celebrities. I mean, some of them are B-list, but they're acting like A-list. I mean, I'm not one to talk, but still, it just blows my mind how some of these people can act. But you've always been a sweetheart. Oh yeah, I love working with you. Of course, otherwise I wouldn't keep doing it. <laughs> okay, um, now we're going to use... I'm trying to think which concealer is going to be better. I think this one is actually going to be better, so we'll use this to brighten the center of the face and under the eyes. I'm going to put on my little puffy here to protect my hand from nudging the foundation, okay? So I'm going to put this under your eyes. Look up for me. Just dot, 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 and then in the center of your face as well, and under where your contour will go. Once again, just blending that out with the beauty blender. Look up for me, love. Thank you. Oh yeah, you can definitely get a lot of divas. However, I will say that I deal with more divas in the modeling industry than in the, like, celebrity acting realm. For people who do, like, film and whatnot, I find that they're mostly creative and a bit quirky. Whenever I've worked with models for runway, a lot of the time they are quite rude and um, prissy. They just, I don't know, models, when they're really, really, really high up there, they definitely have an attitude about them. But I think it also comes with the title and the pressure that they have when working. Not to say that actors and, and um, actresses don't, though, you know, so. Yeah, it definitely depends on the just personality and I think as well like upbringing when you've come from you know nothing and worked your way up the ladder you definitely are, have more of a humble personality and understanding to you than people who are per se nepotism babies speaking of which do you have any um influencers who you're going to be inviting tonight. Oh yeah, I mean like the TikTokers, you know, like the Charlie D'Amelio family, Addison Rae, um, I'm trying to think, Little Huddy, Bri what's Bryce? I mean all of those people because although they're younger, they do come with clout as, as they say, so. Yeah, I mean probably best not to. I think you want to keep it more within the age group. Okay, just look up for me. I'm just going to set under your eyes. Just make sure that doesn't crease. Good. However, 
cover the rest of your skin. I'm going to carry this down here to blend into the pores and smooth everything out. But in terms of the rest of your skin, we're going to leave it because I don't want to lose that glow from the flawless filter. sometimes and we'll chat about different looks and whatnot. She's just the sweetest. Oh yeah, most of the makeup artists and um, makeup designers, I guess I could say, have been so lovely to work with and once you get to, you know, not to sound, you know, conceited, but once you get to my level, I think everyone kind of loses the whole competition thing. We all know that we've made it to a certain extent and it's less about competition and more about how we can up the ante in terms of creative direction and whatnot, especially when it comes to looks for red carpets and really big events. I mean, this, the focus is more going to be on your gown because the attire for this holiday, I mean, special that you've put together is really top tier, but when it comes to the galas and the Oscars and all of that, you really want to stand out from others. So, yes, exactly. I remember what we did in 2017, was it? Oh my gosh, I still think about that. That's one of my proudest moments. Okay, we're going to use the contour wand. Okay, I'm just going to that around your face as well as on your nose here. Blend it out on your nose with a smaller brush, but for that I'll use the beauty blender here around the perimeter of your face. What are some of the food options that you have for catering? Yeah, I'd assume you'd have to have like all the gluten-free and vegan, all that type of stuff. Wow, okay. You know that'll I mean, I've never really kept up too much with the whole Hailey Bieber, Selena Gomez drama. I think it's all... I don't know. I think the public has really just made it into something that it's not. I will say, though, I recently have enjoyed um, a lot of Hailey Bieber's photo shoots that she's done. They've been really natural and really body positive, and I do love that. Selena Gomez has also been really body positive, and... Um, I do enjoy your makeup products as well. Yeah, I've heard great things about Road Beauty. I mean, they both are so successful in their own ways, so... I mean, you really can't knock them at the end of the day. They're both successful women, and you gotta support that, right? Okay, now, before I do liquid bronzer, I'm gonna use uh, the Liquid Glowgasm Beauty Wand, the blush. This is very glowy and just absolutely gorgeous on the skin, so just going to dot, 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 And I like to leave that to sit for a few while I blend out the contour on your nose. Just gonna make it a bit more tacky and more pigmented on the cheeks, so. Good. Your nose is looking at snatched. Oh no, I definitely don't think you need a nose job. No, not at all. You're so gorgeous. Plus, you have to think of the healing time. And if you're going to be doing movies in the spring, right? And if anything goes wrong, I mean, obviously you'll have the best um, people to do the uh, surgery. I was going to say project. <laughs> the surgery. But you just don't want to risk anything, I think. And I mean what you would want done. It's so slight. It's not even noticeable, really. I think you just notice these things more because of paparazzi and the constant photos that are getting taken of you, right? I get it. I can't... I, well, I mean, really, I can't get it. I can't imagine how stressful it must be to have to deal with it all the time. It's just non-stop, but I 
don't envy your position, but I will say it is admirable everything that you've done, especially with your work. You are so talented. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Lovely. So, do you have any, um, celebrities coming to do a live music performances tonight, or...? so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that'll be gorgeous. And then you have a live orchestra. Oh, wow. Well, I am so jealous. I can't wait to see all the photos. And I'm really excited to switch up the makeup look for when you switch gowns. Just gonna do some powder contour over top, just to set it, because the last thing we want moving is your contour. find that the contour won't stay in place, but just to be safe. And then I also will set it with the setting spray, of course. I know these brushes are so soft. They're new to my kit, and I just love them so much. I'm actually matching <laughs> my brushes. I didn't plan that on um, purpose, but it happened. I'm actually going to wait to do highlighter until after the eyes because I think it's such a fun finishing glowy touch. So let's move on to the brows first. Okay, I'm just going to... Where's the spoolie that I want specifically here? This one is good. Okay, I'm just going to brush your brows out. Cosas brow pencil. I normally use this one on you. It just, it's like it was literally made for your brows. It matches so perfectly. Okay, so just going to, okay, so I'm just going to lightly fill them in here. Oh, I don't want to do too much. I know that you got them microbladed, so I'm not going to overdo it. I'm just going to lightly fill in the tail here just a bit more. Just to define the eye look that doing. I can't believe how well this brow pencil matches you. It's crazy. Good. And then I'm just going to blend that out. I am so excited for your upcoming uh, perfume. Oh, it's going to be just delicious. Do I get to smell any samples? Oh, too bad. I'll have to wait until love the packaging and I love that you made it vegan and cruelty free all of that stuff I mean that's so important right yeah especially because that's what consumers want nowadays okay I'm going to just set your brows with a clear gel good so that they do not move <laughs> okay now it is time to move on to those beautiful eyes. I see you have extensions as well. Okay, well, I will be very careful not to um, get any product in them. However, I also have spoolies to brush through them. So I'm just going to pat on some of this. Uh, what's it called? Eye primer. Okay, so just close your eyes for me. Close your eyes. I'm just going to here. 
happy with using the brown and then the champagne definitely okay let's do that then just going to use this here good okay of course yeah answer it definitely Okay. Oh. Oh, I see, I see. So then what are they going to use instead? No, I think that'll still be beautiful with tool. No, no, do not stress, do not stress. This whole place looks so stunning, okay? No one's going to even notice the fabric difference between chiffon and tool, honestly. They're going to be so focused on how beautiful you look in your gown. So much work into this event. I mean, my goodness, it's been like I said, the talk of the town. Everyone is so excited. Honestly, do not stress, it's all gonna be okay. Well, I mean, if it's not, then hey, more press the big party blowout. <laughs> okay, it's all gonna be, it's all gonna be just fine. Do not worry, please. I really don't want you to worry. Trust me. When have I ever been wrong? Close your eyes, so I'm just gonna brush through your lashes and make sure that they're all uh, combed through and even and there's no powders in them. Just going to good, just brush through them. Good. Lovely. Another eye. Looks amazing. I'm really happy with that. 
I know we never do black eyeliner anymore after uh, what happened in... What was it? That was only last year, right? Oh my goodness, never again. At least now we know what suits your eye shape, okay? We're just going to do the uh, bright on the waterline and bring it into your inner corners, okay? To brighten everything. Okay, so I'm just going to very delicately pull down here, okay? Absolutely. 
absolutely stunning oh my goodness I love this look that we did and it's still glowy and sparkly enough however it's not going to take away from uh, your gown and your dress because can you imagine if we did like big liner bright red lip like no it'd be way more focused on your makeup and I know how much you spent on getting that gown custom designed and the beading oh, yeah you've been more they will not you specifically but the team has been working on it since September wow doing the beading it's like four months of beading that's insane well it looks absolutely stunning I cannot wait to see it on now you've just shown me pictures Okay. So then the other one, what's that one? Because I, d I didn't know you were actually debating between two. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. It's like an oh to your mother then. Oh, that, that is really sweet. You can always start off with that one and change into the beaded one. Maybe, yeah. You can see, see how you're feeling. You still have a bit of time, right? Your stylist will be here soon though. Well, we are about done. I'm just going to spray some setting spray here. Good. So your makeup stays all night through the party. Okay, amazing. I'll set that over here. And then I'll just take out your glitter. stunning. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. I think the shadow was perfect because especially if you're debating between two gowns, you can never go wrong with a sparkly champagne and it's so pigmented. Oh yeah, you look amazing here. Look. I'll show you in this mirror. Absolutely stunning. I mean, come on. See, even you know it. Yeah, for sure. We can definitely take some Instagram pictures. Oh no, it's so cute with the rope. Um, do you want me to go grab my digicam and then we can take some photos? Some behind the scenes of the big event tonight. Yeah, I think that'll be adorable. Especially since your stylist isn't here yet. We did such good time. Thank you. Okay, I'll go grab my digicam and I'll take some pics of you. 